Many of you don't know this, but cleaning your liver is one of the most important things you could ever do for your health. Your liver is your body's filter. All the toxic, synthetic, processed, chemical crap you call food that you dump in your body gets filtered through your liver. Almost any health condition you can imagine originally started with a clogged up liver. All the years you breathed in fumes from plastics, hairspray, carpeting, all the plastic bottles you ever drank out of, all the preservatives, hormones, steroids, synthetic colors, flavoring, pesticides, fried food, fast food, and candy you ate throughout your lifetime. All the alcohol, smoke, heavy metals, bacteria, parasites, it all ends up in your liver. And if you don't clean it, you are in trouble. But your liver isn't just something that filters out bad stuff. It does so many things. It makes glucose, which is your body's energy supply. So if your liver is clogged, no energy. It also makes amino acids, which become protein in your body. It makes steroid and sex hormones, low sex drive, PMS, menopause, clean your liver. It creates digestive fluids that digest your food. Having digestive problems? Hmm. It creates bile, which breaks down fat and removes cholesterol. It stores immune cells and produces interferon, a powerful germ killer. It produces most of the body's lymph fluid. It makes blood clotting elements, manufactures and stores vitamins and iron. Science has just started to discover all the things the liver does. It affects every system in your body. And if it isn't working right, you become sick, run down, diseased, and eventually die. It's one of the main reasons we age. Even healthy people have to clean their liver periodically because it's a toxic world. The air, the water, everything is toxic. Okay, so how do we clean our liver? You know, for a while there, like everyone else, I did the liver flush with massive amounts of olive oil. Yes, consuming small amounts of healthy oils and citrus is good for cleansing the system, but just don't go chugging gallons of this stuff. Olive oil is high in sterols, which binds to cholesterol. So those little round floating balls that you think are gallstones floating in your toilet are actually nothing more than olive oil sterols and cholesterol from food or bile salts released in the intestines. Real gallstones sink, they don't float. You know the best way to clean your liver? Simply doing what nature intended. First of all, stop doing and consuming the things that are toxic and unnatural. Secondly, do a colon cleanse because the liver can't empty into the colon if it's clogged up. Clear a path so it's a clean shot out the back door. Okay, time to activate the liver to flush. Any of you who have eaten directly from nature know that a lot of the stuff out there is kind of bitter. Here's the magic secret. Did you know the best way to clean the liver is simply to eat bitter foods the way you find it in nature. Because when you take bitter tasting herbs or anything bitter, it activates the bitter receptors on the back of your tongue. And when that happens, it activates the vagus nerve, which runs all the way down to your liver, which stimulates your liver to start flushing. This bitter activation also stimulates stomach acid to form. And what's one of the big problems with people nowadays, they don't have enough stomach acid. It also stimulates bile production and makes the pancreas release enzymes. The real power is when the bitter taste hits your tongue. It's important to drink plenty of water throughout the day while you're doing all this because your liver is flushing so a lot of toxins are getting into your system. The cool thing is you can do this any time of day, before, during, or after meals. It doesn't matter. Three times a day, like half a teaspoon of this stuff on your tongue, chug it down with water, and you're done. For removing fats and cholesterol from the liver, one of the best things is lecithin. It's a fatty acid that's a fat emulsifier. And one of the best sources of lecithin in the world, for those of you who have seen my DVD set, know that it's dandelions, which also happen to be bitter. Right? So this is like an amazing plant because not only is it bitter, but has a flower is one of the best sources of lecithin in the world. So it's an incredible liver cleanser. And you can put it in your smoothies, you can juice it, you can put it in your salads, you can even make dandelion bread, which was in my last newsletter. It makes the cholesterol water soluble so it can be flushed out of the body a lot easier. Bitters also help improve digestion. So the nutrients in the food you eat get absorbed in your system a lot better. So you have more energy, you're healthier, you get younger, you look better. So go outside and get some plants from your backyard. And for those of you who don't know what's what, get my free food and medicine DVD set. And for those of you who are too lazy to do anything, you can order the herbs online. My liver formula is no longer in capsules. It's a powder for the same reason I described earlier. It's a hundred times more powerful when you get that bitter taste on your tongue. My liver formula also includes another secret weapon, an amazing South American rainforest herb called Chanca Piedra. It literally breaks apart gallstones, kidney stones, any kind of 
blockage or obstruction in your body or your organs. And it fights all kinds of viruses and bacteria. And you can take as much of my liver formula as you want any time of day. There is no excuse. You have to clean your liver unless you want to age rapidly, have no energy, get sick a lot, and die halfway through your life. Do it for your skin and beauty. Do it for your sex drive. Do it for your emotions. Clogged livers make people irritable and angry. Clean livers make you happy, horny, young, and beautiful. The choice is yours. I think my liver is pretty clean because, um, 